Hi, this is Gigi of TheBoringTrader.com uh, Today is uh, the 3rd of March and this is a video of the Price Action Corner series. I'm showing this video because I think there were a number of very interesting points as far as Price Action is concerned in the first two hours of DAX uh, this morning. Now, this is 10 o'clock, just past 10 o'clock London time. So as you can see uh, here, it looks quite messy, actually. Uh, this was the start of the day. Um, uh, this is really choppy and um, there were one or probably two false breakouts. Uh, really a difficult market to trade. However, if you are conversant um, with, with price action, you could have found quite a lot of um, interesting trades uh, to make and um, I will go through them uh, in a second. This is the situation you find before London opens and uh, as you can see there's a, a, a pretty sizable rally and uh, Frankfurt open uh, the markets actually stalled a bit there's a kind of range here we are going to apply uh, our usual uh, roadmap or uh, battle plan, if you like. And what we have is that the market is just hovering around R1, which is, which is one of the pivot points. Um, there is this interesting uh, line here, range here, uh, where uh, markets actually found support and resistance all the time. And, uh, and also there is this moving average here that um, is, um, has formed a sort of um, support here. Uh, the support is also at this big psychological number, big round number, 14,100. And um, uh, so this is pretty much the situation. Uh, we're waiting for the eight o'clock start and we see what happens. Okay, okay, this is big move up. You see there's a big volume bar. Uh, it's eight o'clock, quite a lot of new orders are coming in. Uh, there's a total break of, of this high here. And the market went up quite a lot. And um, usually I don't trade the first five minutes. I just want to see uh, what is, um, developing on the first five minutes and what we see is a big bar with a big wick so we might expect the market to go down here and retest this level here however we may also see that the market will continue going up and at this point on the five minutes chart i really have very little to go about uh, in order to make a decision because if I want to enter here, well, I would enter on a on very, very small inf uh, amount of information. If I enter here, it would be quite risky. Um, so I need to wait. One thing I could do though uh, is, uh, and this is an advanced um, technique, is I can go down on a one minute chart If I go down to one minute chart, I can see that uh, this level here, which is the high, is where the bears found their feet and they're pushing down. Now I can monitor this and see if the bears are actually uh, managing to push the market down or not. Uh, but rather than having a big wick here, I can have more information here. And I can see that the bears have tried to do something here, but then they couldn't do anything. And I am a little uh, be um, a, a little more um, comfortable in taking a break uh, along on the break of this line here. As you can see, there is a little bit of a pause. Uh, we are closing now uh, the, the first five minutes bar and I could put um, an entry order here because of this 
bearish bar here which uh, hasn't gone down and uh, it could be breached again on the momentum of the bulls. Even more ammunition for my uh, theory, um, the bears are not able to push the market down. So this is not just a flash in the pan uh, for the bulls, there could be something more momentous there. And this is where I would actually enter. So if we go back to the five minutes now, you can see that yeah, you could see that um, this entry here wasn't so scary if you look uh, uh, at the analysis on the, the one minute. Where will the market go? Well, one thing is this area here. This area is quite important. Uh, it's another psychological level, which happens to be also at uh, one of the pivot points, R2. So I, I guess that the market will try to reach there sooner or later. Uh, I need to monitor this because um, the momentum is, is, is very strong. Uh, but the market has already moved, uh, what, 60, 70 points. Um, so it is bound to have some sort of um, rebound. Uh, and th the bears will have to show their hands sometime. And uh, this is where they show their hands. So uh, usually when I see these kind of things, I, I might actually try to uh, have a target up here, but I'd like to take half um, a position or, or a part of a position out uh, at midway point or something, because I know that the bears uh, have to show their hand at, at some point. And they are doing it here. And this is an interesting bar because the bears have the chance to push the market down uh, at least at least to this point, the breakout point. And uh, as you could see, uh, not only they didn't manage, but the bulls are making a stand here. This is their latest uh, um, trench, if you want. So this is their uh, latest um, support point. And from here, they can launch an attack to go up there. So uh, in, a, in a very aggressive mode, I could actually uh, put a stop here, monitor the, an entry, um, stop entry there, and monitor the situation when the market gets here, hoping that uh, it's going to test this, this level here. That's what I did. And uh, I had to wait a bit the market managed actually to go up here. Again, um, if you're quite uh, fiscal about um, things, uh, you didn't reach your targets. Uh, if you are happy to have a scalp from here to the high here for at least half a position, uh, you'll be, uh, you, your, your target would have been hit. The bears are again, and in this case, actually I was hit here and um, the position was closed at break even here. Um, these big wicks are telling me that uh, there's going to be quite a lot of fights uh, for the bulls in order to reach this level here. Now, again, the bears are uh, trying to push down, but they don't manage to do anything. And actually, this level here that we saw before as being the new trench, the new support line, is still resisting. So this could be another chance to go along for another leg up. And that's exactly what happened. So there's an, another half a position taken off here. You see these big wicks are all um, indication that 
there is a fight here. So that would have been another half position probably uh, because this line here, uh, the, the, this wick here touched the, the breakout point. Um, I would be done for the day, but I just want to show again that uh, when you have good momentum and, and you have a trend with you, um, there could be still the possibility of, of making another try. This is more risky than the others, um, but if you put the stop uh, below this line here, you are relatively safe. Uh, I don't really see why the the bulls will stop here. I think that they would really like to try that level there. And they did. So with this uh, other um, trade here, we would have reached our targets uh, in, a, in a kind of staggered way. Um, okay, th this was just uh, uh, hopefully a, a, a brief overlook of what happened until basically um, t 10 o'clock. After this, not much happened. Um, and um, y y you see that uh, this was really the objective of the bulls. They reached that and they started trying to uh, maintain their positions here. Okay, I hope it was uh, useful. Uh, any question, please ask. Bye.